in version 617 and above, your patients can be granted the ability to access certain financial information through the Practice Perfect client portal. As a reminder, you can check your version number by going to Help and then About in Practice Perfect. You must also enable the client portal before you can access these features. If you require assistance with this, please contact the support department by email at support at practiceperfectemr.com. In this video, we'll be covering accessing financial information through the client portal, customizing the available financial information in the client portal, and accepting online payments in the client portal. Accessing financial information through the client portal. After your patient logs into the client portal, they can select financial. By default, they'll be taken to a page listing a number of unpaid treatment charge entries. They also have the ability to view all treatment charge entries too. And if the client has made payments through the client portal, they'll be able to see a history of them and download the associated receipt in the Payments tab. The information listed here includes service date, service description, the name of the therapist who rendered the service, the total charge, client portion, and client balance. Towards the bottom of the table, they'll be able to see the totals for each as well. If you're currently working with a payment processor that offers online payments, you may include a link to your payment portal here. But if you're working with Global Payments Integrated and wish to begin collecting online payments and have them enter directly into Practice Perfect, you may now do so. More on how to set this up later in this video. Customizing the available financial information in the client portal. You are also able to control how much financial information will be visible to the client in the client portal. For example, maybe you don't want them to see the total charge. Perhaps you don't want them to have access to financial information at all. This can be controlled from within Practice Perfect. To customize this information, select Settings, Customize Web Client Portal in Practice Perfect. The following panel will appear. In the General tab, there is an option below Client Portal Defaults called Financial Info to Show on the Portal. The selections are as follows. None. This will remove the entire financial portion from the Client Portal. Total Charge slash Client Portion. This was in the example that we just reviewed and contains both the total charge, i.e., the total charge submitted to the insurance company, as well as the client's portion. Client portion only. Only the client's responsibility will be featured here. We mentioned earlier that you're able to include a link to an online payment portal that you're currently using. To set this up, select the Payment Link tab. Begin by entering the portal payment wording. This is the verbiage that will appear on the button within the financial portion of the client portal. Then you may enter the URL of your payment portal in the portal payment website field. Note that if both of these fields are left blank, this option will effectively be disabled and not appear in your client portal. Collecting online payments in the client portal. Now we'll look at the panel entitled Open Edge. This is where we are able to connect your global payments account to your client portal. But please note there is some paperwork that needs to be completed prior to setting this up. To begin the process, ensure that you have an active global payments account that is enabled for e-commerce and you contact the Practice Perfect Support Department to begin that process. Once completed, you'll be provided with an auth key, a web ID, and a terminal ID from Global Payments. Enter them in the corresponding fields here. Then we have the notification email field. When someone makes a payment in your client portal, you may receive an email notifying you of it. Enter the email address to which we should send this notification. Choose a payment method. 
When payments are made through the client portal, they will be assigned to this payment method. This is helpful for record keeping and keeping your payments organized. To add a new payment method, simply select Housekeeping, Financial, Payment slash Adjustment Methods and press the green plus sign to add a new payment method called Online Payments. For the Automatically Applied by User column, if left blank, when a patient makes a payment in the client portal, it will be added to the system as an unapplied payment. But if you select a user here, the payments will be automatically applied to the client and the payment will be recorded under the user selected here for auditing purposes. In cases where clinics have multiple offices, it may be necessary to indicate the office with which the payment is associated. So if you're using the automatically applied by user setting, then the location of the payment will be based on your selection here in the base global payments on field. The options are either service location or billing location. How clients make payments in the client portal. After linking your global payments account to your client portal, when patients log in and select the financial tab, there will be an option called pay. The patient may then proceed to enter their credit card information. The amount will be in your country's currency and will default to the total client balance but can be edited by the client so they may pay what they wish. After clicking submit, a dialog box will appear confirming that the payment has been processed successfully and they'll have the ability to download a payment receipt. The client's balance in the client portal is updated right away. They may also click the Payments tab to see a history of the payments made and download a payment receipt for their records. Finalizing the payments in Practice Perfect. After the payment is made, you will receive an email notification at the email address entered in the Open Edge panel. You will also receive a reminder in Practice Perfect notifying you that there are pending online payments awaiting review. But if you have chosen to enable the Automatically Applied by User option, this will not apply to you as the payment will be automatically applied to the client's oldest outstanding balance. You may then select Actions, Web Payment Listing. Here you will find a list of online payments waiting to be assigned. You may then flag the payments and select Apply Selected Payments. This will automatically apply the payment to the client's oldest unpaid balance. The payment will not be visible on the client's account until this step is completed. But then, you'll be able to see the payment in the client's Activities by Payment, Activities by Invoice, Activities by Service, and all of the associated reports such as the Payment Journal. Enabling the Online Payment Reminder for Users You can control who receives a reminder when an online payment is made by selecting Housekeeping, Security, Security Users. Enter the user's profile and select Functions. You may then choose whether you wish to allow to receive client-made online payment reminders by checking or unchecking the box here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to get in touch with support at practiceperfectemr.com if you'd like to enable this cost-free feature.